Oh, warm weather means bad pollen. Allergy season is upon us, but there is something that you can do to help make spring a little more bearable. Joining us now is Dr. Mark Montano with Care Now Urgent Care Clinics. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your time. My pleasure. First, let's talk about why this is happening. Why does it seem like this year's pollen season is so bad? Well, I think it has to do with our really great winter. And by great, I mean we had a lot of moisture, lots of no, and that sets us up for a good spring growing season. Well, guess what? All of those grasses, trees, uh, mold, uh, all of that's going to be in full force because of that really, uh, really moist, wet winter. Yeah, when it does start to bloom, boy, it will come out strong. So how do we know if it's a cold or just a, or allergies? How, do, how can we tell the difference? Well, and that's a really good question. And I have my patients ask me that all the time. Uh, they'll come in. Hey, Dr. Montano, I feel I have cough, congestion, runny nose. What is it? Well, the hard part is seasonal allergies and upper respiratory tract infections share many of the same symptoms, and oftentimes it's hard to know. One of the things I'll look for as I'm examining a patient or even asking them questions is, do you have fevers, chills, body aches? Those almost never come with allergies, but they're commonly seen in upper respiratory tract infections, viral infections, influenza, and even COVID. I know as adults, we often know when, when allergy season strikes, but what about um, parents with little kids and they're looking out for allergies? How can they tell at what age their kids are really starting to suffer from allergies? Yeah, and, and that can be tough because children may not give us as good a history as, as an adult or even a teen. So really you have to look at, their, at your, your child and, and see, are they running a fever? So always check for a temperature. And then I also look, are they having the itchy eyes? Are they rubbing their nose a lot? Are they pretty active, but still you're seeing a lot of the, the watery eyes, the runny nose, maybe some sneezing. And some children will also have a cough if their allergies are related to asthma, or I should say their allergies trigger their asthma. And so what works best when treating your allergies? What do you recommend? Well, first thing is get on them early. Don't wait until you're feeling miserable. So if you know you're an allergy sufferer, you want to start on your antihistamines early in the season. Uh, and, and I would say that now is not too early. You want to start by taking your oral antihistamines if, they, if you tend to have the runny nose. They're decongestant, uh, ophthalmic uh, antihistamines. And, and those things will really help so that you don't get uh, really uh, a bad case of, of the allergic rhinitis, runny nose, and, yeah. and sneezing. Well, Dr. Montano, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time. And remember, you can watch all of our health interviews at our website, CBS News Colorado. Mac.